So before phase one, I uh, was doing okay, but struggling in a lot of areas of my life with uh, energy and confidence and speaking in front of people and all sorts of things like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just limiting beliefs that have held me back over the years, yep, okay. which I believed at the right time in my life I'd find the way to overcome, and now I have, yeah, great. which is awesome. Uh, a big breakthrough moment was doing the timeline, what's the word for it? The Transformation. Transformations, yeah, yeah, and uh, it was incredibly powerful and uh, it was uh, related to my uh, convict ancestry, which I've always known has a big uh, connection in my life and it has sort of held me back, which is a weird thing and I don't really understand it, but it's, um, and so now that's dealt with and that was anger, guilt, and hurt, I think, mm -hmm. and I don't feel those things anymore. That's yeah, great. And I've felt them all my life, and I know the rest of my family have too, so it'll be interesting to see how, whether what's happened to me has any impact on them. Yeah, very cool. Well, I'm a teacher by profession, and teachers uh, have lots of professional development. Teachers are very cynical. Teachers uh, have, uh, most of the courses we go to are death by PowerPoint. So I was very impressed that you didn't use PowerPoint. <laughs> and, um, and so I came with a fairly cynical mindset. It's like, oh, more PD. <laughs> but your style was totally different and totally empowering and uh, funny, interesting. And, and the method of, of teaching really helped uh, absorb the information in a way that I've never had before. It's pretty hard to describe because it's it's um uh, it's more like a, an experience, uh, and uh, I'd certainly say uh, definitely do it. I've been, as I said, a cynical person about these sort of things, and I put, yeah, I decided to put my cynicism aside and uh, and just go with the process, and it was um, very transforming, definitely.